chargers. There's a lot of them out there and you probably have many different kinds laying around your house. I have five common chargers that you probably have laying around your house. So let's go find out which one of them charges your phone the quickest. For this test, I'll be using my iPhone XS Max and the battery will be at 20% just as my iPhone recommends I place it into low power mode. The phone will be set in airplane mode and the settings will all be the same. First one up and our control is the basic 5 watt 1 amp charger that comes with every iPhone, Apple Watch and first gen iPad minis. It is by far the slowest of the bunch charging up to 34% in the first 30 minutes and finishing off the round at a painfully long 3 hours and 13 minutes. This footage has been sped up 20,000 times in order to compress it into a 1 minute clip. So if you ever are in need for a quick charge to top off your phone, I would not rely on the basic 5 watt charger to gain any substantial battery life in a pinch. Yeah, we're still charging. Man, this charger is slow. Wish it would be done by now. Next one up is Apple's 10 watt 2.1 amp charger that came with iPads generation 1 and 2. This is where we start to see a significant improvement of 35% over the standard 5 watt charger. It is capable of charging my iPhone to 49% in 30 minutes, and I'm able to fully charge in 2 hours and 5 minutes. I feel like this is what Apple should have supplied with the iPhones from the start. Finally, in 2019, Apple upgraded the supplied charger that came with the iPhones, which we will see next. This is Apple's 18 watt 3 amp USB-C charger that is supplied with current iPhones and the iPad Pros. It was able to charge my iPhone to 67% in 30 minutes and what's more impressive is that it's 50% faster over the basic 5 watt and it charged my iPhone the quickest finishing at 1 hour and 39 minutes. Don't know about you guys but I really like when things get done quickly. Next up is a 30 watt 2.5 amp USB-C charger that was included with a wireless charging mat I purchased from Hard Cider Labs. It was capable of charging my iPhone the most within 30 minutes to a remarkable 69% and had a finishing time of 1 hour and 54 minutes. Literally just watching the time go by right now. Hang in there, you just have one more left to go. Last we have a behemoth, Apple's 96 watt 4.7 amp USB-C charger and is supplied with the new MacBook Pros. This charger unfortunately did not charge the most in 30 minutes, only getting third place at 64% and finished second with a time of 1 hour and 42 minutes. It just goes to show that size isn't everything. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised because I really did think that this was going to be the winner, but unfortunately, it was not. So to finish this off, here's a graph of how each charger performed, with the 18 watt coming in first, 96 watt second, 30 watt in third, followed by the 10 watt and last 5 watt charger. If you need a fast charge, then a 30 watt charger is your best choice. It gives you the most charge in a 30 minute window. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and consider subscribing to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.